consider this diagram here this is the layout page layout page like uh, we have master pages in ASP.NET this page will be combined with a view page called index when the URL typed is home by index the content here should merge into this area we can call it the content area on this page and we have another view page let us call it games the content in this uh, view page will have to merge with this part of the layout page and then you have scripts and styles also their proper paths should be resolved correctly they too have to be merged into the layout page so we are not talking about uh, partial views right right now we are talking about layout pages and how to combine them with view pages and how to properly uh, combine them with the scripts and styles so let us start to do a practical thing on how we can achieve modularity this way so uh, first of all create an empty MBC app an empty MBC app is totally empty till today we have been doing basic MBC apps but right now today we are talking about an empty MBC app so that we learn the basics although uh, in your day-to-day -day life you are not likely to start with an empty MBC app you are most likely to start with a basic MBC app but since basic MBC app adds too much of infrastructure we are today uh, starting with an empty MBC app so create an empty MBC app and uh, let us proceed as follows so let us first of all inspect what is there in this app that we have obtained uh, directly from the Visual Studio so one is your root configuration this configuration contains as usual a default mapped root for home and the action is index so you already have a default mapping here then uh, we have nothing in the views folder nothing in the controllers and nothing in the models folder so let us start by adding a controller so right click and add controller so we'll call it the home controller and click add so uh, we have this method called index that has been created for us and without going into the complexity of database connectivity we are simply going to demonstrate how this view can merge with the layout page so let us add the view right click and add view option is there click index, uh, select index here razor we are not using any database connectivity so this will be uh, we are not uh, tick marking this one uh, we are neither talking about partial views now it says use a layout or master page yes we are going to use it but since we are going uh, through the view start file we'll talk about it in a moment will be leaving it empty here so we'll always leave it empty if you are not using any master pages and if we are going to follow the view start file so we'll talk about this file in a moment right click uh, sorry click on add this is the view page that has been made for you now let us analyze it first of all what you see in this page is that there is no header like this not doc type so these headers are not there neither we have any head tag so all those things are absent here there is no plumbed uh, HTML you don't have body around it you don't have any uh, structured HTML here so what this has been done for you is this is the relevant portion of your content page that has been made in the view Visual Studio will always make this view for you 
This will contain only the meaningful HTML that you can write so that it merges with the layout page. Uh, I hope I am clear here. We, uh, you, the important thing you have noticed here, the first thing is that no extra HTML on this page. We will never get it. Second thing is that you have a razor tag here view bag dot title is equal to index since the layout page this is the layout page this page will ultimately be having this HTML and this layout page will contain the title page will contain the title tag and it is inside that title tag we will have to put the title of the page. So if we talk about it a little bit clearly, suppose you have a games page. Its title is games. Then you have a page called index. And its title is index. Now both these view pages they have to ultimately fix into the layout page. This layout page is containing the tag called title. So this title will have to be different for each view page. This means that this title will have to be decided by the view page and when it is read in the layout page that title will get fixed here. So here probably if we write at the rate view bag dot title this means we can read the title in the layout page. So now let us see come back to this one here what we see is that your view page is fixing the title here. This title will ultimately be read in the layout page. So this is the purpose of writing view bag dot title here. Then he has written h2 index so that is a small uh, heading that he has written for us. So let us now write some text here. This is my index index page. So having seen this, let us now proceed on to add the layout page. So here is our solution explorer. Since a layout page is to be common we have a hard coded name here. We'll have to create a folder and give it a name called shared. This name is hard coded. You can't change this name. And, and, and if you create a basic MVC app, this folder is already created for you. Okay, the, uh, I'll put it in caps because it will look nice here. So right click this one and add new item. In this new item I will find an option called MVC4 layout page with the razor syntax. So I am giving it a name underscore main layout. You can give any name but the convention is to start this name with an underscore. You have full freedom to give any name to this layout page and having given that name let us click add. Now as we were expecting this layout page contains the plumbed HTML now. This is the doc type, this is the HTML tag, head tag and here is this view back dot title. This view back dot title will be read from this and we have at the rate render body uh, let us not talk about this we'll delete it for the moment here is 
द मेन ले आउट पेज लेट मी नाउ रन दिस मच टू सी वॉट हैपन्स सो आई बिल्ड रीबिल्ड सोल्यूशन डी बिग डी बग स्टार्ट विदाउट डी बगिंग एंड इफ आई रन इट आई फाइंड दैट दिस कंटेंट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द व्यू पेज इट इज नथिंग ऑफ द ले आउट पेज हैज कम हेयर सो वॉट इज हैपन्ड इन दैट वेन यू हिट दी होम कंट्रोलर इट रिटर्न दिस व्यू फॉर दिस व्यू इट वेंट टू द होम फोल्डर under the views because home is the name of the controller and it picked whatever html it found inside index.html and returned it back this did not merge with the layout page it didn't go there so for this we have to do something so that this view finds its master page because there can be so many master pages there can be so many layout pages so we didn't specify any so none of them was combined so let us now specify a main layout page here so how this is done we right click on the views folder right click add new item skin because it will be convenient or you could have picked this also and we could have later on deleted the parts you could have picked this one also so if we pick this one then we can write underscore view start uh, don't change this name this name is underscore view start you could have added any file of these and later on you could have deleted the irrelevant portions so i picked this one but the most important thing is that the name of the file should be underscore view start it is underscore view start and let us now add it add and this is a junk that has been added and now i'll remove this one so now i'll have to specify into this file what is going to be the layout page corresponding to this view so uh, i'll before i write it i'll explain what is the sequence and what is the flow when your user asks for a view let us say he has asked for a view called index then the first thing that happens is that underscore view start file is searched in this file the information is read then that information tells us what is the layout page for this index so whenever any view let us say games view is asked before this view is going to be calculated this will look uh, mvc will look for underscore view start file to pick out the layout page corresponding to this one so what is the layout page that is going to be used in this case if it doesn't find anything then it doesn't go for the layout page instead it directly returns what it finds inside the index or inside the games so this is the sequence view search for view start and then reach the layout page perform whatever mixing is done is to be done and return it to the caller and return the combined content to the caller so inside the view start file we'll we'll be writing information about the layout that has to be given to each view so coming back to this the method is to write at the rate layout is equal to here we can specify the path to the layout file so as usual we can write tilde by 
views by shared by the name of the file is underscore main layout and put a semicolon so this is here that we have specified what is the layout corresponding to this view so we haven't actually written anything about which view is coming or what is there so it, this is probably going to be for each of the views on your website now we can stop here for a bit to see what is the practical use of this if you see the intellices that appears here you have request dot browser this means you can do browser detection here and if the browser request is coming from a mobile page you can specify an alternate layout page so this is the right place where we layout switching can be done is very much possible here depending on the browser and now let us run them so here we have an error it says underscore view so we get this error here the render body method has not been called for the layout page so what is this render body let me come back render body is that area of your layout page where each view content is merged so if uh, this is your layout page and inside it you must have a place called a uh, place where you will have to put the where the content from the view page will be ultimately merged so how this is specified this is specified by writing at the rate render body so if this is your main page and this area is reserved for the content coming from the view page then you will have to write at the rate render here at the rate render body so wherever you write this the content from the view page will be put at that exact location so let us come back to our view page uh, to our main layout page and write it at the rate render body so let's format it and now let us run it and to see what is the effect here is the main layout page and you can see that the index this is by index page this has actually come in this location so let me summarize what has been done till now this is your view page and this is your layout page this layout page should be contained inside shared folder let me summarize what we have done till now so first of all we added a controller double click it to see it generated an index action for us we didn't write anything here it was simply returning a view then we added a view which was added under home folder because home is same as your this controller name under home we created a folder called index.cshtml this was automatically created by the visual studio 
this index name matches the name of your action and what is inside index inside index we saw that the first line is view back dot title this view back title this property is set here and then it is later on if we see the shared folder main layout then it is later on replaced here this is done so that any view can set its own title and the each page can get the title the same title as the view so this is the index and this is the place where we set the title property then we wrote one line called this is my index page after this we went on to add a main layout page this page has title and this page has a area called at the rate render body whatever is inside the index.cshtml this content will ultimately be replaced here so if we write div then this div will contain the content of all index pages or oh sorry of all view pages then we learned the use of the underscore view start file this file is the controller file is the controlling file where the view layout is decided so here we were able to decide which layout file which layout should be merged so uh, this is how the modular layout occurs in its simplest form in the second part of this lecture we shall talk about how to use scripts and how to uh, how to combine scripts and styles into this area so that the correct paths are preserved thanks